Kidnaps can occur for a wide range of reasons. You know, everything from somebody just wanting a phone card, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, and they'll just take you away until they get it, through to someone kidnapping you for political or strategic reasons because you're in a particular country or they, they view you in a particular way through a political prism or a strategic prism. So understanding why that kidnap threat exists is, is really important. Where there is a risk of kidnap, abduction, detention, that's where the proof of life can really, really come into its own. It will typically be a question that only you can answer. You probably should have more than one prepared. There might be multiple proofs of life required over a sustained period of time. Um, why is it important? It's important because if someone says that they've got hold of you in a kidnap situation, which they could do through diffuse means, it might come through social media, it might be a call to one of your contacts on your mobile phone, it might come through a government or a third party organisation, who knows. But when that dialogue begins, one of the most important questions is, is it actually you? And are you okay? Are you alive? And the proof of life answers that. Um, now from there, an awful lot can be developed, conversation can begin, but Ultimately, it's about knowing that you're okay, and then processes, plans, dialogues can be developed further from that.